Rock art in India, dating back 10,000 years at least, are shown depicting what appears to be otherworldly beings. Wait till you hear this. You could probably look at these images and not really be impressed with these ET-like depictions found in Charama in India, but the fact that they are getting worldwide attention not only from breakaway archaeologists, but also from NASA. You heard us correctly, guys. Experts are suggesting that after the Great Flood destroyed the ancient empire, the survivors in this region actually encountered extraterrestrial beings. Not only are aliens shown in this art, but they are shown to be wearing spacesuits and even go as far to depict a UFO. Chahatskar State Department of Archaeology and Culture has asked the Indian Space Research Organization and the U.S. Space Agency to help research the compelling find. Indian archaeologist J.R. Bagat said the flying disc, which have three legs and fan-like antenna, resemble UFOs as depicted in modern-day films. He said, The paintings are done in natural colors that have hardly faded despite the years. The strangely carved figures are seen holding weapon-like objects and do not have clear features, especially the nose and the mouth are missing. The findings suggest that humans may have seen or imagined beings from other planets after the cataclysmic flood, as foretold in the Bible, which still creates curiosity among people and researchers today. Is it not crazy to imagine that there were frequent visitors to the Earth in the very distant past and even in modern times, in fact, it is almost impossible for the life on this planet today to be the only life that has ever lived here. The traumatized survivors of the deluge saw these beings on the land in the sky and wearing protective suits, it is not implausible to imagine these encounters to be the last of the gods of the earth. The Anunnaki, for example, could have been searching the earth for the last of the Nephilim in an attempt to return the earth and the life preserved here to the before time as foretold in the story of Noah and the ark. The stunning depictions also curiously depict kangaroos that are not native to India at all, as you well know. You also have to wonder just how this could be. Could Australia and India somehow have been connected in the distant past? Could all the lands of the Earth have been connected before the Flood? The more anomalies we encounter on this Earth, the more we are leaning towards the truth. The dots are beginning to add up and humanity is beginning to realize the bigger picture regarding our ancient past. Who we are and how did we become conscious? We are also looking between the lines, not just for the one region of the Earth, but understanding that a global civilization existed that appears to have been connected in the very remote past in every part of the Earth. What do you guys make of the Indian depictions of these beings who were apparently monitoring and scouring the Earth after the Great Flood? Comments below and thank you for watching.